My name is Zhang Fei from CGTN to bring you this broadcast from South Africa. And we are also at the largest rhino protection zone. So on May 1st, 75% of the living rhino actually are homed at South Africa because of this large population of rhino. It's also caused a huge and a severe issue of poaching. So the government of South Africa marks the May 1st as the International Workers' Day as well as the Rhino Protection Day. So the government encouraged the public to know exactly or know more about how to protect the rhino. Right now we look at the white rhino in South Africa. I believe rhino is eating grass. So what we are at is the a specific protection zone for smaller size of rhino. We talk about the conservancy. We want to bring the rhinos back to the nature. But why we have this kind of like cultivate way? to protect the small rhinos. Let me introduce more about the background. Right now we are at the largest conservancy. We have the a home to 1,000 rhinos. And the, this is the largest protection areas in South Africa, and we also check the physical condition of the smaller size of rhino. So if their moms pass away or because their own physical conditions are not in good condition, or they cannot live with their mothers, so they will be sent to these kind of protection areas. So let me also show you another two little ones. So through our cameras, hope you can see the little tubes. They are only four months old, the two little babies. So we can see the uh, front one is a little bit stronger one in larger size, and the one next to the tree is a little smaller in size. Why these two, all four months old, they have this big difference in size? Because the smaller ones, mother have not enough rest to feed the baby, so that is why the smaller one, this baby, was sent to here. We can see right now every day they will be fed for four times. Uh, every time they have the a the a standard amount in order to make sure they have a good physical condition. So in South Africa, they are the home to 75% of the overall rhino population. And the government released the numbers in 2016 alone. The poaching crisis happened in a really severe level. And there are more than 1,000 rhino were hurt or died because of poaching. We all know, especially the audience in China, know the right rhino, but not know exactly how they are living. So after I talk with the owner of the ranch, each rhino has their own personality. Some are really quiet, some are really lively, so they are all different. So we can see there are the small babies, only four months old. So on the left-hand side, as in the smaller size, and so his physical condition was a little bit weakened. Right now they are all at the same age, but you can tell they are quite different in size. In South Africa, we are at the largest ranches, the, diff the largest, the rhino conservation area. So we have, we all know that we have the white and the black rhinos 
the black rhinos are different from your watching the white ones. So their mouths for the black one are very sharp, so they can eat the lips. So we can see right now the two white ones, their mouths are smooth and flat. Another is the color, so the white rhino, their skin are in white. The black one, of course, as the name, is black. So talk about the adult rhino, the black ones, actually they are smaller in size than the white ones. For cultivate the cubs or the smaller babies, normally rhino have the strong the territory emotion. So we talk about the territories, they respect each other, they not step foot into others territory. For the female ones, they live together in a larger group, but once they have babies, the female rhinos will live with their own babies. So the mothers will accompany their babies through the a baby and to the 18 months. So the mother will live with their babies till when they grow up to 18 months. So the ones they grow up to 18 months, the mother will let them live by themselves. So normally the lifespan for rhinos is around 40 to 45 years old. Here we are at the largest rhino conservation area. We have the largest quantity of rhinos, but here is also the most affected areas by the poachers. In 2016 alone, we have more than 30 rhinos hurt by the poachers. And also because of the horns, the rhinos horns actually is very expensive and really good in trading values. That's why a lot of poachers are put their eyes on them. And we have the Jolly and Gloria as our special guests. herds within that breeding camp. Mm -hmm. um, our main aim is to is to uh, breed approximately 200 uh, rhino calves every year mm -hmm. um, and therefore we use those breeding camps with the, the bulls and the adult females mm -hmm. uh, to breed in, in, in those camps. Um, we've got uh, the farm is divided into to three different sections because it's such a large area mm -hmm. with a, a huge amount of work. Um, each section has got uh, its own manager um, that look after the animals in that in that camp uh, or in that farm farming section. Mm -hmm. He's responsible for everything in that section, all the welfare of the animals, um, the the management of the area itself, uh, water provision, mm -hmm. uh, feeding the animals on a daily basis mm -hmm. uh, when it's winter time and there's not a lot of food. So the managers are, are, are in charge of that area uh, f for, for the farm. So as you say, uh, so let me uh, translate this. Uh, 刚才呢, 我们的主管Johnny 介绍了, so we just talk with the chief manager, Johnny. Here is a really large area and divided into three sections. For each section, they have specific managers. So in winter, because of the limited food, they may have some difficulties. So the managers 
will look after all the rentals in their own section. So for all the project in this farm, they hope every year they can multiply 200 rentals. By human side. Basically, by human side, each breeding camp has a, 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 a dedicated, uh, what we call a camp master. Mm -mm. So, this camp master, that is his uh, sole job, is to, to look after the animals, check them on a daily basis. Each camp has approximately uh, between 60 and 100. Some, some more, a little bit more, 140 rhinos in. <laughs> so that camp master is in charge of those uh, animals within that camp, and he checks them on daily basis, uh, make sure they, uh, he reports any illnesses with them. Um, he looks after them, see if they've got any 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 injuries, um, and then reports to to uh, our veterinary department that takes care of those uh, kind of things. Okay, and uh, as you said, so the 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 plan, the goal is uh, to uh, help, like around to produce two hundred cops. So so far, what is the number now at this stage? Well, we've uh, we've we are over a, a thousand calves at the moment. Mm -mm. Um, so we haven't quite reached that goal of 200 uh, per year, mm -hmm. but we're getting there slowly. Um, the total number for the, the, the duration of the project is over a thousand now, yes. So it's quite stable and going up. Yes. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. Uh, no, 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 no. Just now, Johnny as the chief manager of this protection area introduced the basic condition here. So this area divided into three sections. For each section, they have dedicated camp masters. They look after the well-being of the rentals. Right now, the overall operation and the condition of this area is really stable and in progress. So the multiplying numbers keep increasing year after year. As we just introduced, within these areas, all the rhinos, they came here all with different reasons. So for all these reasons behind, I am also invite Claudia as our guest to talk more. So, such as these two, would you please tell us the story about them? Um, these two, they got separated by the, the from the mother um, for some other reason. And mm -mm. um, so we tried to reunite them with the mother, but then the mother did not want to take them back. Um, mm -mm. So they were brought into the facility. Okay. So, so all these calves are basically when there has been an issue um, and the calf is in trouble. Um, those are the calves that will come in here. And uh, how many months are they? So for these ones are six and and five months old. Oh, let's come to the to the babies. So this we. This one is five months old. This one is five yeah. months old. Um, oh. The one over there is six months old. Oh, Claudia, tells us, we have a picture of this little baby. As Claudia introduced, so the one you are watching now, this baby, around five months old, and the one behind is six months old. So talking about their food or diet, so the food actually different depends on their age and size. So they will be fed every two hours. old mm -hmm. and then they will stay with me until they're about three and a half four years old 
until they've got that confidence and then we'll put them back into the to the breeding camps. So confidence is also important for them to yeah, join the group. They, yeah, otherwise they get gonna get bullied and all your hard work for th for three years is just down the drain. <laughs> so oh. if you wanna do this you have to do it right. It's not a can't take any shortcuts. Yeah, correct. Claudia just uh gang gang na gum chisha da uh Claudia just introduced that all these babies they have their own issues or problems to come here but once they were here we need to give them care and love we need to make sure that every little baby vinyl here can be confident be back to a comparatively nature environment to join with other rhinos. But it's much bigger than the, this side. Yeah, these two, um, they didn't get enough nutrition when they were younger. The mother did not have enough milk. That's why they were brought into us. Oh, it's growing very fast, eh? Yeah, the first six months of their lives, they grow extremely fast. Oh. <laughs> As Claudia further introduced the two rhinos. So the one we just introduced, we have six months old. So before six months old, actually they grew up very, very fast. Today, May 1st, also marks the Rhino Protection Day in South Africa. So we also will talk about how exactly we protect the rhinos. Johnny introduced that for each section they have their dedicated camp masters to take care of the well-being of the rhinos and they will do the daily check to see whether whether there's anyone yield or injured and they will also use helicopters to do the daily check for the whole area sometimes for the protection and it's, it's very important and a lot of poaching happen actually is targeting their horns so they also have the measures to protect the babies here and sometimes we also use the measures to move off or take off the horns it sounds really hurt but actually the stars will use the special food and method to take the horns off and actually they can really regrow their horns and some use the food and some use the injections to anesthetize to let the uh, horns to lost consciousness but this is actually the least way we want to do but we force us to do that to protect our babies right now we all here is the white rhinos the black one back to the beginning of 20th century we have around 850,000 till 1960s because of the killing and the loss of habitat the population of black rhinos started to decline and that within the 30 years the population of black rhinos dropped 97.6 percent right now the new lead numbers we have less than 2461 black rhinos and it becomes the endangered species a lot of scientists and also the experts in South Africa they have a lot of ways to protect the rhinos that we talk about to take off the rhino horse is one way and another is to the uh, captivity captivity that's another way to protect them so we provide this kind of conservancy to the rhinos 
As I mentioned, although these kind of ways may be really sounds extreme, but it proved effectively. So we talk about taking off the horn. We can get 90% of the horns from the rhinos. So a lot of poachers, when they see the rhinos, but the rhinos without horns, which means these horns are not valuable in their eyes. So by doing so, we protect the rhinos. We have uh, very small rhinos that are playing with human beings. They coexist in a very harmonious way. So welcome back. Just now we mentioned the ways to protect rhinos. So we used the a anesthetic to protect. So we use anesthetic to numb rhinos in order to take off their horns. So if the a rhinos without the horns, they're not really that valuable in the poacher's eyes. But that also may be in another way in the bad in fact is we may that the a Reynolds lost the confidence. If they not have enough confidence, it's really hard to put Reynolds back to the nature environment. So in South Africa they do a very good job in protecting Reynolds and all these conservancies also make endeavor to cultivate these rhinos to let the rhinos back to their nature life in Africa because of the, the legal poaching. To my best knowledge, a lot of areas actually they do not have any rhinos exist. So, so here a lot of rhinos, when they come to the good condition and to a certain age, they will bring these rhinos to the surrounding countries, their neighboring countries, 
let them enjoy the vast space of Africa. So Claudia as our special guest, she's also very professional in protecting Reynolds. He told me that every Reynolds had their own personality. And some are very lovely and some very sensitive. Some really optimistic. So it's always depend on the different Reynolds. So in camera right now, these two are to live around six months old. But actually, they are really big in size. So we talk about the rhino in six months, just like a small baby. But if you look at their size, they are not as the small human being baby size. Today, at South Africa's May Day as the A Protection Day, so here it's not the, just the A International Workers' Day today, so also South Africa's Rhino Protection Day. Through this conservancy and also the day we want to draw global attention to protect Reynolds around the world. By getting more knowledge about the Reynold, let's show more love to the Reynolds and let Reynolds can coexist with human beings in a harmonious way. Thank you for watching and this has come to the end of our live stream.